Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Krizzy here, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on, on this movie from 2005, and that is Yours, Mine, and Ours. Now, the plot of this movie is where this guy named Frank, played by Dennis Quaid, is it, basically a man who, 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 ha who, has most, who has many children, of course, and so, and so one day he goes out on a date with, with this fashion designer named Helen North, yeah, Helen North, played by Rene Russo. And pretty much like Frank Beersley and, and Helen Russo later get married, of course. And then, of course, they both, both of them have many kids. Like, up to, like, 10 plus 8 equals 18. So that's 18 children altogether. E even though most of them were adopted. And then, and then of course, the, the children then, then don't get along with each other. And so they have to find a way to, to, like, to, to get Frank and, and Helen to, to separate. So, so, that's, so that's the plot of this movie. Yours, Mine, and Ours, 2005. Now... I know, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of critics really hated this movie. Like it, it got, it got like a six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. But, but in my opinion, I, I do not agree with that with that Rotten Tomatoes score. I, I don't agree with with those critics because I, I think this movie, Yours, Mine, Ours, I, I think it's, a, I think it's a funny movie. Yeah, it does have, it does have some some funny moments and. Yeah, I think this movie was. I think this movie's actually pretty good in my opinion, pretty decent. But I think it's funny as well. Like I said. And I know that the the actors the actors do do a good job. The acting's pretty decent. Like Dennis Quaid did, Dennis Quaid was pretty much decent in this movie. Rene Russo was pretty good in this movie. And of course, yeah, and of course, and I think the child actors and actresses, I, I think the, the the kid actors do do a pretty good job in this movie. And of course, yeah, Miranda Cosgrove is also in this movie as well. And I think Drake Bell's in this movie too. But yeah, so this movie came out on November 23rd, 2005, and was released by Paramount, MGM, Nickelodeon Movies, and, and Columbia Pictures. Yeah. But yeah, so, but yeah, so, so other than that, so other than that, this, this movie was pretty funny. I, I don't agree with the Rotten Tomatoes score. I don't agree with those critics. So, so overall, Yours, Mine, and Ours is a, is a funny movie from 2005. And I'm going to give this movie 4 out of 5 stars. That's my best rating. So, if you haven't seen Yours, Mine, and Ours yet, if you haven't seen the 2005 version, then I, I say give it a watch. It's not... I say give it a watch. Maybe it's, maybe it could be like a one-time watch or something like that. But... And yes, I, I do know there's also an old version from... There's also an old version that came out like in the 60s, I think. Like 1968, the original Yours, Mine, Mine and Ours. Which I never saw that version, but I have seen the 2005 version with Dennis Quaid. But yes, but if it, but like I said, if you haven't seen the 2005 version, I, I say I recommend it. It, it. I I would say it's not it's not that bad in my opinion. Most, I mean some some people might agree with the critics so that it's bad, but most but some people don't because you know we all have different opinions. Like I always say, pretty much. But but there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching my movie review on yours, mine, and ours. And so that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye everybody, and that's about it.